Hmm, this is a new angle. Does this mean I'm in the new studio yet? No, it's the same room. I got a little bored of constantly sitting in the chair. Plus, I have this whole tech background set right here. Like, I got my AirPods, which, hey, that's what this video's about. Couple iPhones, couple other device boxes. I gotta take that so that way I can prop this up again. And an iMac here to show off. So, why not show it off? So, this is gonna be the new angle for the tech set, plus, Whenever I do any other video, it's it's always in the chair and it always looks so boring. So let's mix it up a little bit. Anywho, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, AirPods Pro. How are they after two weeks of use? First thing I have to talk about is the connectivity experience. First of all, all you have to do to really turn them on is open up the case and voila, they're on. I'm not actually going to open it up now, otherwise it's going to screw up the audio on my phone because I use my phone to record these things. I know, I'm cheap guys. Which is kind of ironic because these are AirPods Pro. <laughs> but basically all you have to do is just open up the lid and the AirPods turn on and they instantly connect. Well, at least to show just the bare essentials like, hey, they're on and here's what your batteries are at. It's once you take them out and put them in your ears is when they officially connect and start sending audio. But I have to admit that experience is quite nice. And then the whole other experience where you can pull it out, pause the music, put it back in, it plays again. That's also pretty nice. But what if I'm using other devices other than my iPhone? For example, I have my MacBook Pro because at the moment this thing's Bluetooth isn't working, though stay tuned on the channel at some point because I finally got my part to come in. I just have a whole video I need to make of actually installing that. I wanted to pair these to my MacBook. Well, I don't have that super cool open the case and it's paired process. And the reason for that is because my MacBook has Bluetooth 2.0, which is pre-airdrop days. <laughs> okay, well technically my MacBook does have airdrop, except it's airdrop one, which means it's the only type of airdrop that works with only Macs with airdrop one. Yeah, these things aren't gonna magically pair like that. But it was nice and very easy that all I had to do is just push this button here and it's, instant, it's instantly in connect to any device mode. Select my AirPods on my Mac in the Bluetooth status bar and Voila, repaired. Very nice. I really hated having to constantly go into my phone, hit unpair from there, then go to my Mac and pair it. Now all I have to do is just take these and just push one button and voila, they're paired. I don't have to constantly go to my phone and turn Bluetooth off. And once I'm ready to switch back to my iPhone, well, the truth is all I gotta do is quickly put them back in and then take them back out and put them in my ears and wow, that saves me from going through a whole bunch of menus. Nice. Convenient. After all, it is an Apple accessory and Apple accessories were made to work with each other. Sound quality is a little bit of a mixed bag because it is it is different than my previous pair of earbud, earbuds, but I will say it's definitely for the better. The reason for that is because I like bassy headphones and bassy earbuds. I don't know why, I just do. And these, believe it or not, actually don't offer as much bass as my previous earbuds did, which is kind of shocking considering that this is $250, mind ya. And my previous earbuds were worth $30. And keep in mind, those things actually weren't crap. The case was crap, the earbuds were amazing. Despite that, I lost a little bass and I do like that actually, but it's not horrible. And I will say, everything is evenly balanced. I'm no audiophile. I can tell you guys that right off the bat. Despite that, I have a well-trained ear for tuning instruments. These things are accurate when it comes to sound. I don't consider myself an audiophile because when it comes to whether the quality is great or not, my definition of good quality versus bad is, does it buzz or does it not? These things don't buzz, which is good. So that means audio quality, Great. For audiophiles, I'm not sure because I don't consider myself one. Okay, so quite a big price difference. I spent $30 on my last pair, now all of a sudden I spent $200? Yes, I got a $50 discount. Why the huge jump? Well, one, I wanted to get an 
Apple accessory, but also it's for the extra features that come with these because I could have opted for the wireless charging case on the regular AirPods, but I decided, you know what? I'm a bit more of a professional audio user. So let's use some AirPods Pro for the professionals because I do consider myself a professional. I am a musician afterwards. Believe it or not, I do have to say the features that these come with actually really helped me improve my music abilities. Here's why. In my free time, I do have my guitar over here. Yeah, see this huge thing? This is my guitar. I love it. It sounds amazing. I've had this thing for years. But there's one problem that my last pair of earbuds just had that these ones here don't. My last pair of earbuds, believe it or not, did have noise cancellation. The problem is it's on all the time. There is no off button. So that means I have a slightly harder time hearing my guitar. Transparency mode on these things rock. I love transparency mode. I can hear my guitar so much better. I can hear my voice more accurately than before. <laughs> That's so cool. And one thing that my other family members appreciate with my last pair because active noise cancellation was on all the time. You could not shut it off. They really appreciated transparency mode because I could actually hear them when they were trying to address me. Transparency mode, love it. One of the best. I totally worth the price because now I can actually hear people address me, assuming I have transparency mode on. The other mode came in very helpful because I got two annoying family members who do not seem to know how to not make enough noise. If you've heard thunking in past videos, it's because those two really do not know how to calm themselves down. But whenever they can't calm themselves down, I can always turn A and C on, which really nice. In fact, I always had to turn A and C on whenever I wore these with my hood outside because let me tell you, it's freezing where I live. Whenever transparency mode was on, it's always brushing up against the microphones and because of course it's transparency mode, it's gonna record that and send it through. Yeah, it gets really annoying. So ANC is definitely nice. It's really handy, especially at my job where I work in a lab every now and then. These things are really nice to tune out the fan noise. <laughs> in terms of the features, like the active noise cancellation and transparency mode, yeah, those things are amazing. Then there's one other feature that these things have that I will say is a way you can flex, but it's not exactly polished yet. And that's because it was released with the update for the AirPods. Now, when I originally unboxed these, I actually thought that spatial audio was not working because there was no option in my sound settings. And I, well, I basically did not get a 3D surround sound experience like what spatial audio advertised until I realized that these things needed to go through a quick update. I don't know how it does it, but I do have to admit, I had no idea it went through one until, hey, spatial audio is a thing now. While it is a little bit cool, I do see it as a bit of a gimmick feature and it doesn't exactly work well compared to a real surround sound system in a living room. While the, sur while the sound system in our living room is really just our TV speaker, and no surround sound system. I've been over to a friend's to watch a movie. What was it? Echo? I think it was Echo. And holy crap, did they have an amazing surround sound. I was so confused. There was sound coming from behind me. I couldn't even find the speakers. That was one amazing surround sound. Anyway, back on topic. Surround sound, 3D audio, surround sound, spatial audio thing. It's an attempt, but it's not particularly great because it only works if it's coming from multiple directions, like from the front of my ears into here to, and the back of my ears top. The problem with it, these is it's already directly in your ear and it's already facing one direction. So it's a little limited on what it can do. Now, in terms of the tilting your head away from the screen and it'll shift the audio to make it still seem like it's coming from there. It does fairly decent at that, but if I'm being honest, with these things, it's more particularly a gimmick. If they were the AirPods Max, I'd have to test that out, but so spatial audio, a little bit of a gimmick at this point. One other thing that I have to mention is durability because believe it or not, within three days actually, 
I almost destroyed them. Yeah, I know. I'm not careful with my stuff. There's a reason why my phone's in a case. So what happened was I did my laundry and I wear the sweatshirt all the time and it was a while before I washed it. Don't ask. I decided I had to do my laundry, but I also needed to move wood into our woodshed because I mean, well, when it's like negative 10 degrees out, yes, I kid you not, it gets that cold here. You kind of need to heat your house. So I took my AirPods Pro out of the case, put them in my ears, put the case in my sweatshirt pocket, and right before I started my laundry, took my sweatshirt off and tossed it in there. The whole time the washing machine was running, I was out doing wood with my AirPods in, and the case was in the washing machine. Oh yeah, I was freaked out when I found out about that because as soon as I started looking for my case, I'm like, oh I left them in my sweatshirt in the wash, didn't I? And surely enough, I opened the door, I found my case in the wash. Oh, I was so freaked out and thank goodness, it still works. I tested everything on the case to make sure it still works. The button still works, both AirPods still charge, the charging port still works, even wireless charging still works. So these things survived a washing machine. Well, at least the case did. I don't know about the AirPods themselves, but I am not planning on testing that anytime soon. Good to know these things are okay with water, just ice that I don't recommend testing this yourself to make sure I'm not lying. Because one time experience, let's keep it one time. And yeah, actually one more feature I forgot. These things actually are capable of wireless charging. Except I should probably mention that is not how I've been charging these because I, I have two different wireless chargers. I have my charging puck, which is upstairs, and then I have this charging stand. Now you'd think I'd put my iPhone here. I actually know I leave it upstairs so I'm not on it all night. So I put that on the charging puck upstairs. So what's wrong with putting this here? Hmm, it's not charging. Problem is the coils are too low. So this thing actually is not standing high enough. So if I lift it up just a little bit, now it starts charging, but if I put it back where it stands, rests right there, not charging anymore. I've had to use a wire. That's essentially how I've been charging these most of the time. Though at some point I will get a wireless charging puck again so that way I can actually correctly charge these because believe it or not, wireless charging is the correct way. Gotta get rid of the cable and seriously Apple, this is a pro product. Why can't we have USB-C? Has to be lightning. I mean, lightning's fine and it works, but USB-C everything, guys. We gotta switch to USB-C. And that pretty much wraps up this entire AirPods Pro review. Is it worth $250? That depends. If you're a heavy music listener like I am, or a, a pro audio person, pro music or something, these are definitely a great set of earbuds. And I'm not saying, no, you should use these all the time for working in like Logic Pro or something, but if you're someone who listens to a lot of music and needs it in earbud form versus headphone, I can say that despite the high price, these are pretty dang good for a set of wireless earbuds. Highly recommendable, especially if you're in the Apple ecosystem like I am. All right, that concludes everything. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the network. Do me a favor and interact with everything below. And my name is Alpha DeWolf. Random Alpha, signing out.